optimal sequence of production batches. In certain types of production, the sequence in which you produce goods will impact the level of uh, cost production and also will impact uh, the capacity. Therefore, in those cases, you as a production planning should not only calculate the optimal production batches, but also find the optimal sequence of producing. And uh, for that, uh, let's have a look at an example of an industry where this is actually a huge issue. We will be talking about juice production. So let's imagine that we have a three taste that we will be producing on our production line. So we've got apple juice, blueberry juice and orange juice. Since we've got three types of products, there are actually six different sequences in which we can order them. So, for example, the option one would be apple juice, then blueberry juice and then orange. The option two would be apple juice, orange juice, uh, blueberry juice, and so on and so forth. As you can see, we have six options. And actually only one of them is uh, the one which will give you the lowest loss. And this is option two, where we first put the apple juice, then orange juice, and then blueberry juice. This option gives you the lowest loss due to the fact that uh, apple juice uh, is sweet. It's not sour and it, uh, it's almost colorless in comparison, obviously, with orange juice and blueberry juice. So if you put the apple juice first, you don't have to clean the production line. You can straightforward use the orange juice uh, and it will not impact the quality of the orange juice. The very same situation is with the blueberry juice. If, on the other hand, if you went for the option six, where you start with the blueberry juice, you would actually have to spend a few hours to clean the whole production line to get rid of the blueberry juice and that would have a huge impact on apple juice. So once you've got the optimal production batches, you obviously have to arrange them. And as I have shown you here, only one option gives you the lowest loss. And in this sort of uh, situation, it's worth considering uh, certain things that may impact uh, what we mean by optimal sequence of production batches. So if we use this example further, uh, we would notice that one of the first thing to take into account is a uh, loss of a uh, product due to the fact that you have to clean the production line or change the setup. So in this case, it, it is a loss of uh, juice in liters. And as we said, the sequence where we start with uh, apple juice, then we go to orange juice and uh, blueberry juice gives you the lowest waste of uh, products, in this case, juice. Another thing which is important is the setup time. So we said that apart from the fact that we don't lose any juice, which is in the production line, we don't have to throw it. On top of that, we don't have to do a setup between the apple juice and the orange juice and between orange juice and uh, blueberry juice. In this case, we mean actually cleaning the whole production line and also taking care of uh, a different setup when it comes to the flow of the product. So when it comes to the optimal sequence of batches, we save on that as well. We also have to take into account the price of uh, juice. This is to some extent related to loss of juice. So for us, the loss in terms of uh, money will be the number of uh, juice in liters multiplied by the price of juice. In some cases, you don't want to have a certain production batch finish in the middle of the shift. And therefore, you may organize sequence of production batches so they start and finish within the same shift. In some situation, even if waste level and the setup would suggest that you should do one option of sequence, you may go for another one due to the fact that you may be not having sufficient amount of specific juice. So, for example, in our case, we said that the optimal sequence is apple juice, orange juice and blueberry juice. However, if we had nothing when it comes to blueberry juice, we actually may decide to start with this juice because if we don't do it, you will lose some sales. So you have to take into account not only the things that are, are beneficial from the production point of view, but also from the whole company point of view. And finally, the sequence of producing will impact the machine. In this case, the machine for different types of juice. And finally, the speed of the production machine may be influenced by what we've got there. And uh, this may also change our optimal sequence of production batches. So in short, the sequence of production batches really matters and you should take it into account. It matters because it will help you minimize lost products. But also you should look at other things like uh, how the company is organized and uh, whether you don't actually ha have to change the sequence because you don't have the product or it impacts the machines.